Hey guys, it's Jordan from Snappy Gourmet. Today we're gonna to be making crispy taco seasoned potato wedges. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Then you wanna get some medium sized potatoes. Not too big and not too small. These are like the perfect size for potato wedges. Then you want to cut them into eighths. You want to be careful cutting the potatoes so that you don't cut yourself. Now that we have all our cut potatoes in a big bowl, we're going to take some olive oil and some taco seasoning. We like to use taco seasoning because it almost gives it like a nice flavoring and like a kick. It's great. You can use whatever type of taco seasoning you like. We have a recipe on Snappy Gourmet to make our homemade taco seasoning. If you want to check that out, you can do that as well. You want to mix your potatoes all together so they all get some taco seasoning on them. As you can see, our potatoes look delicious and they're all coated. So now, we get to put them on some pans covered with parchment paper. And you want to have parchment paper because it's very easy for cleanup and it keeps the potatoes crispy. You want to make sure that your potatoes are in a single layer and if you can, try to stand them up so that it cooks them on both sides. Now that you have all your potatoes set in place, you want to bake them in the oven for about 20 minutes. After that 20 minutes, you want to rotate them and bake them for about another 20 minutes. Now that our potatoes are done cooking, we took them out of the oven and let them cool for just a little bit so we wouldn't burn ourselves when we tried to eat them. So now, we're going to try it. They look really good. They're golden brown. They're crispy on the outside. And I got my two favorite dipping sauces. I got my ranch, my boom sauce. You can check out those videos. Try it. All right, great. Outside is crispy. Taco seasoning gives it like that good flavor, like that little spicy kick. And the potato is not like one of those fries where you just get the crunch. It's got some potato in it. It's pretty good. Be sure to visit snappygourmet.com to get the full recipe of this and get more awesome recipes like it. Could you all be quiet, please?